Central winning U.S. Olympic women's hockey team included seven Minnesotans, two from Plymouth. Jay Wilcox recently sat down with the two local stars here in our CCX studios. We're honored to be joined today by two U.S. Olympians from Plymouth and great hockey talents, Kelly Panic and Danny Cameronese. And uh, well, tell us what this last couple months has been like. I mean, it's got to be one of the most amazing experiences of your life. <laughs> what, what's it been like? Yeah, um, at the beginning, it was a lot of traveling. We went straight from South Korea to L.A., went on the Ellen Show, um, went to a Kings game there, went back to Tampa where we've been training for the last six months as a team, um, went to a Lightning game. And then from there we went to D.C., New York, um, got to do a lot of really cool things like on the Jimmy Fallon show, it was really fun. And then since we've been back, I've been back now for probably like a week and a half or so. Um, just kind of doing stuff in the community. Um, yesterday I went to my high school, which was really fun um, to spend a day with them. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's basically basically just been a whirlwind of stuff, um, going all over the place, getting to meet and see um, a lot of cool people, and um, I think especially for me, being back home has been um, the most rewarding, and be, bringing it back to our community and all the people who like, helped us and supported us, and that part has been probably most exciting, and just seeing all the love that we've gotten from everyone, it's been incredible. So much build up to the Olympics, and then did the games themselves seem to go by fast, or what was the the actual Olympic experience like? Yeah, I feel like fast and slow. I feel like sometimes <laughs> it felt like it was just like flying by, and then sometimes you're like, oh, I feel like I want it to be like the last game. But um, yeah, I think once we were there, it was really big focus for our team to treat it like another tournament. Um, there are times to take in the full Olympic experience, like when we got to walk in opening ceremonies, that was really fun. But then other times, like when we were approaching our games, just treat it as another game. Yeah, it was, I feel like it was kind of long, but like she said, there are times where it just kind of flew by. I think it really hit me in the closing ceremonies when the torch went out. It was like my heart almost <laughs> broke. I'm like, it's actually over. Like, I've waited my whole life to be here, and um, it's actually ending, but it couldn't have ended in a better way. And for us, the journey has still continued afterwards. So um, we're still making our marks and making our rounds. So that part's been really fun. I'm sure growing up, you know, it seemed like Lake Breck was a huge rivalry and then Minnesota-Wisconsin or, or Benilde versus Minnetonka for you, but how about USA versus Canada? What, what, what is that rivalry like from the inside? Um, I think it's one of the best rivalries out there. It, people keep asking me if the game was as intense as it looked. And I was like, yeah, it's um, one of the most intense games I've played in and people are really surprised. and. Um, ecstatic about the game itself and how great it was and um, the rivalry definitely is there. It's the biggest rivalry I think I've ever played in throughout high school and college and um, I guess it um, speaks for itself. It's on the biggest world stage and you're um, fighting for your country basically. So. Yeah, I think the dynamics actually are really similar to um, like what you experience with I mean, Minnesota, Wisconsin, um, or even some high school rivalries, just because you know some of their other the girls on the other team. So it's kind of weird because for our sport, like you all somehow kind of cross paths in some way. Um, for us, we didn't have any teammates, like college teammates, on the Canadian team, so it was a little different. But other people on our team did. We will have part two of our interview with Cameron Easy and Panic Friday, starting at four o'clock here on CCX News.